People ask how an old codger like me stays in shape. The fact is 80% of being healthy is what you cram or don't cram into your pie hole. You've probably already heard of the ketogenic or keto diet. To sum it up, it's a high fat, moderate protein, low carb diet that forces your body to burn fat rather than the glucose or simple sugars that so many people are addicted to. The bottom line is this kind of diet works. And I use Keto Elevate because it's specifically designed to help quickly and efficiently raise your ketone levels so you can reap the major benefits of the keto diet lifestyle. And guys, this isn't just an ad, this stuff really works. Use my link in the description, ketowithflix.com, and get 51% off while supplies last. Check out this tyrannical nonsense from Canada. We have implemented the strictest measures in all of North America. And the difficult truth is, every public health measure we have left comes with a massive cost to people and their lives. <laughs> but we have never shied away from doing what's necessary. <laughs> it's necessary. I love it. It's like William Pitt the Younger. Necessity is the plea for every infringement of human freedoms. It's the argument of tyrants. It is the creed of slaves. We had to shut you down because it's necessary. You had to go out of business. We had to close down your business. You had to lose your job, lose your home, lose your family, lose everything because we got a scary convids 1984 in the street that wants to invade our lungs. We had to do it. It was necessary. Yeah. Necessity is the plea for every infringement of human freedoms and they will take full advantage of it. You never want to let a good crisis go to waste, right, Rahm Emanuel and Hillary Clinton? ...made the deliberate decision to temporarily enhance police officers' authority for the... Enhance police officers' authority, that's the last thing we need. ...duration of the stay-at-home order. Increasing police authority. Moving forward, police will have the authority to require any individual who is not in a place of residence to first provide their purpose for not being at home. If you're not home, in other words, we've given the cops permission to harass you if you are, what's your crime? Oh, I'm just outside of my house. It doesn't matter if you're in the car, doesn't matter if you're walking down the street, doesn't matter if you're trying to get fresh air, you're playing with your kids at the park. The police in Canada now have the authority to come up to you, ask you why you're out, what's your identity. Uh, you know, if you don't have a good reason, you're going to be cited. And listen to, listen to what happens if you resist. And provide their home address. <laughs> Police will also have the authority to stop a vehicle, to inquire about an individual's reason for leaving their residence. And our... Guys, my brothers and sisters in Canada, you have got to stand up against tyranny. If it takes everybody, just get, I'll tell you what, at five o'clock, we're all going out. We ain't waiting one more day. The tyrannical boot will no longer be on our necks. Deliberately go out and drive down the road. And if you see somebody getting pulled over, you pull over too. And you all stand alongside each other. How about that? How about none of us is greater than all of us? This is infuriating. Inspectors will also be ensuring that those who absolutely must come to work are strictly following the public health measures. For our employers and employees, take note. This is your last warning. Oh my I'm wondering God. about these new police powers to just randomly stop someone walking down the street or Listen to this. over a car. What happens if... Uh, these new police powers, because that's what it is. We're given the authority. We're given the power to run over people. In other words, you know what that means? And, and people kind of mock me for, for saying this because it's kind of become cliche now. But when I say nobody has a higher claim over your life and property than you, they're basically saying, well, we've given the cops increased power, increased authority. We, we, we think that their life uh, is above your life. We think that they have a say in your life to, to uh, disregard your freedoms, to ask you who you are, where do you live, why you're out here, and if it's not a good reason, you'll be punished. So listen to this guy's question right here. Your last warning. I'm wondering about these new police powers, powers to just randomly stop someone walking down the street or to pull over a car. What happens if uh, if a person refuses to answer the police 
question. Yeah, what happens? So by issuing these new additional enforcement measures, it allows police officers to ask the person why they are not at their allows. place of residence and what their place of residence is. And specifically to your question, um, if you are not willing to comply, then you are breaking the law. Uh, if and someone sees um, uh, their neighbors uh, breaking these, these new regulations um, and, and having a party in their yard, that sort of thing, should, should people call police on their neighbors? In terms of people calling um, to snitch, to inform... Listen to this. Um, Look, we all have a personal response. The, the way she said that, in terms of people snitching on other people, human beings telling the authority uh, that, that their neighbors are doing something that they shouldn't be doing in, in order to get them into trouble, and other to, in, in order to bring the police power and force down upon their neighbors, you would think she was going to say, well, snitching, that's not a really good thing to do. Listen to how she sets it up. I thought she was going to go, well, no, we don't need people. We don't want people snitching on other people. Listen to what she says. Should, should people call police on their neighbors? In terms of people calling um, to snitch, to inform, um, Look, we all have a personal responsibility. If it means saving lives, then I think we have to think about what your social responsibilities are as an individual to make sure that you don't empower other people and invite a whole bunch of individuals to your home. In other words, yeah, snitch on your neighbor. Get your neighbor in trouble. Bring, bring the wrath of the police force down upon your neighbor. Make sure that your neighbor, when, when all said and done, when they've had this little interaction with the cops, make sure that they have less freedom and maybe they'll, they'll be charged with a crime if they resist. Guys, this is, this is, the walls are closing in. Oh, you're such a conspiracy theorist. You're alarmist. You're, you're selling fear porn. What's wrong with you, Brian? Guys, this is the reality, not on the landscape, not on the horizon. It is here with us. And you might say, well, that's not happening in America. <laughs> Did you think in, at the very end of 2019 that you would walk into a bank and see people walking into the bank up to a teller to conduct you know, a business transaction with a mask on? I would have completely bet against that, but here we are. Did you ever think they would be talking about national lock lockdown in America and that people would actually comply and close their businesses to their own detriment? knowing that they're going to go out of business, they can't feed their families, and then they're going to be on the government dole for the rest of their life because they can't, they're can't. they so deep in the hole they can't dig themselves out? These are, these are our brothers and sisters in humanity in Canada that this is affecting. Our brothers and sisters, the people we need to stand up for. Just, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to just leave your thoughts on what you think about this right here. What's going on in Ontario? When laws are unjust, a man is right. He is absolutely right. He's taking the moral high ground in order to disobey it and resist it and fight against it. When injustice happens to one man anywhere, it happens to all men everywhere. Don't kid yourselves. This thing that's happening to them is going to, if not already, is not already happening to us. There's going to be a time where you're not going to be able to walk into a hospital unless you have ritualistic shame muzzle on, you're adhering to social distancing, you got to disinfect yourself uh, and have a COVID, COVID pass. Are we really going to let that happen? Really let that happen in the land of the free, home of the brave? Well, I guess we are because we let the Federal Reserve in, we let the IMF in, uh, the Zionist International Bankers are controlling all of Congress. We let the IRS run roughshod over us. Here, go ahead and take 33% of my income. I didn't need it. You can use it better than I can. You're so responsible. You've proven yourself to be just, a, you know, a stalwarts of righteousness. Screw that, man. We got to stand up. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And obviously that's true, not just a cliche, because we've fallen for every, everything. Thousands of people are now struggling to put food on their table. A sea of cars jammed into a parking lot in San Antonio. 
more than 10,000 families waiting their turn at a local food bank. Similar scenes are taking place in cities across the country. In Pittsburgh, the line of motorists stretches more than a mile. Hey guys, before I start this video, I just want to remind you, if you don't have a six month supply per person in your household of long term storable dry food, you need to get some from somewhere. We already know they're going to do an economic reset, a currency reset and a food reset. And if you don't have enough food for everybody in your family and you're out there with everybody else scrambling, scrambling around at the last minute trying to get some, it's going to be too late. You can get it from me. It's $100 off instantly right here on this website right here or just get it from anybody. My link is in the description below and in the pinned comment.